Okay, today uh, for our tying lesson, we are going to tie the brushy baitfish. Uh, really easy tie. It really consists of two materials, a hook, and some eyes. Uh, the materials we're going to use today are a Gamagatsu B10S. We're going to use 006 mono thread. We're going to use for the tail an EP craft fur brush. Today we're going to use the medium olive and orange. We're going to use the EP minnow head brush. And today the minnow head brush is going to be the Everglades color. And the eyes we're going to use are. 3D stick on eyes. So let's get started here. Get your fly and your vise nice and straight. We're going to take the 006 mono thread and we're going to wrap back, not all the way back on the hook shank, but we'll wrap back to about two eye lengths ahead of the hook point. We're going to tie in our EP Craffer brush. This is an Enrico Puglisi product. Comes in a whole bunch of colors, so you could really vary up the look of your fly. We're going to tie it in right at the base. This has a stainless steel core to it, so when you cut this material, you always want to use some snips. We're not going to need to cut this because it's not sticking out in front of the eye of the hook. So we're going to go about halfway down from our starting point. All right, and we want to align the fibers going up and down so when we pull it out there we could sweep them towards the back. And the idea behind this is you want to fold it like hackle. You want to fold all the material to one side as you wrap. And you want to hold that fold as long as you can. And we're going to sweep all these fibers towards the back. That's a pretty crit critical part of making this fly look very neat. And also, these fibers will mat up. So what we'll do from time to time is we'll take a bodkin. I'll just get in there and just pick out our fibers. We'll do a bigger pick after we're done with the tail. But we'll keep on sweeping all our fibers towards the rear of the fly. And the, the brush will tend to twist on you, even if you're real careful going hand over hand. The main thing is, is you got to just keep those fibers folded towards the rear of the fly. Again, it's okay if the fibers mat themselves up a little bit. We're going to go ahead and fix that in a sec. So once you get that to your tie-in point, for your tie down point, you know, just separate the fibers a little bit so we have a cleaner spot to tie it down. We'll take three wraps and we'll take our snips and cut the wire. All right, at this point, just want to get in with the bodkin. We could do this fairly aggressively and get deep into it, and we're going to just pick out our fibers. You also want to separate the fibers evenly on both sides. Sweep them back. We're going to sweep everything back and just take a couple of jam wraps right at the base. All right. Also at this point, the length is a hair long. The longest fibers in the tail are just a little long for this hook. So what I do is I just pinch it and I tear those fibers out of there. I don't want to cut it because I still want my natural taper, but I do want to trim it up just a little bit. The next step is we're going to take the minnow head brush. This is a little denser. It's got some sparkle in it. Um, and we're going to tie this in, again, right at the base of the fibers. 
and we'll wrap that forward. We'll trim the butt section with our snips and we'll wrap this all the way up to just behind the eye of the hook. We're going to wrap this the exact same way we wrapped the crafter brush. We're going to sweep towards the rear of the fly and we're going to make these wraps right next to each other. Grab it hand over hand. If you start to see some really mad up, you can get in there and just pluck it out as you go. Always keep tension on the brush that you haven't tied down yet. Don't ever loosen up on that or you'll come unraveled a little bit. All right, we'll do one more wrap. We'll separate our fibers just a little bit for our tie down. And we'll cut this wire brush with our snips. All right, at this point, kind of sweep everything out of the, the way of the eye. We'll just give a couple of turns of thread. Then we'll stick our whip finish on there. When you do your whip finish, try to keep all your fibers out from the eye of the hook. Small thread head. You don't need to go big. You can put a weed guard on this fly if you want. If that's the case, give yourself a little bit more room at the head of the fly. At this point, you can trim your mono up. We want to get in there with the bodkin and really pluck out the fibers. It's okay if you're getting back into the craft fur again, but really we're dealing with the minnow head brush at this point. You just want to make sure every fiber, there's nothing trapped way deep underneath there. All right, kind of stroke your fibers back. Make sure that your crafter brush is even on both sides of the hook. At this point, it's starting to take shape. What I want to do is trim up the head a little bit. So I'm going to come in from the front and trim from there. And we're going to go shorter in the front. We're also going to thin it out in the back of the head. So we're just going to slowly rotate the vise as we do this. We're going shorter in the front, longer in the back. You want the, the collar with the craft fur brush and the, the minnow head to just look like they're kind of molding together. And of course you want to do, you want to don't want to take chunk big chunks off at a time it's always easier to go back in there trim up more if you really get aggressive with your scissors you might take a chunk out that you don't want to all right this is shaping up pretty nice Again, this fly can be used for pretty much anything that eats a bait fish. I could see using this for trout. I could see using this for bass, backcountry stuff, snook, a suspended redfish fly, baby tarpon. Uh, you can adjust. You don't have to keep this hook size. You can go up or down hook sizes. All right. So at this point, we're going to stick on our eyes. So I like to use Loctite glue, the gel glue. Uh, dries very quick and it allows you to put a bead that you can press the eye onto. So we're gonna put this right in the, we're gonna leave a little space of material in front of the eye and we're gonna put a little bead 
right in the center of the head, we're going to take our quarter inch 3D eye and we're going to just lay it on top of the bead of glue and we'll press that in. Kind of press it down so it kind of gets into the fibers and we're basically right on the center of the hook in the center in the, in the center of the head. Then I'm going to just line up my bead on the other side. And we'll put our 3D eye on that side. And we don't want to really press real hard on this one because we want to be able to line that up with the other side. I'll look at it from the front. Just make sure everything is lined up up and down. And once you have it in the place that you want, you'll give a good press. If you have any glue that squishes out of the side, you could just take the tip of your bodkin and get it out of there, and I'll usually wipe it off on a post-it pad. And that's it. That is the finished brushy bait fish.